how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Um, oh shoot, I almost forgot. It's June. All right. Um, how y'all doing today? How are y'all doing? Um, hope y'all had a good day. My day was pretty good. I started out um, babysitting the kids, hanging with the kids. They're a handful. They run around. They go here and here and here and here and here and here. You only have so much energy. These kids have unlimited energy. It's crazy. Kicking stuff around, going crazy. I said, oh, man. Summer just started. Whew. It's going to be gonna be a fun summer. But um, uh, after that, I went to the gym. Worked on these, worked on the games, you know, worked on the games. Ah, and then went to go, um, went to go see a movie. Went to go see uh, Fast and Furious, Fast X. It was a good movie. I almost spoiled it for you. I almost spoiled it for y'all, but. If you haven't seen it already, you should go see it because it's, it's a, to me it was a good movie. It was an exciting movie, but you know that's just me. You might feel a little bit differently, but um, then I just I just got back, uh, maybe like hmm, maybe like twenty minutes ago. Um, so. That was my day, and hmm. tomorrow is going to be gym work again. You know, to you know, get shed all this popcorn weight off, this popcorn drink and candy weight. And, you know, get myself right for the summer, you know, try to get, get this right and get the shoulders right, you know, I gotta do it. I'm going off to school and I'm going back off to school in August. So I'm trying to look right for when I go back, you know what I'm saying? Or for when I go off. <laughs> so, you know. That was a good intro, but I'm not going to further delay. So, quote now is, be yourself. Be yourself. Don't worry about what anybody else is doing. Focus on you. Focus on what you want out of life. Focus on how you want to be. People that don't like you, Oh well. Oh well. I'm funny. I like Kendrick. He has he has good songs, but one of my favorite songs of his is it's called Crown. And he basically talks about not being able to please people. Like, you know. He said, I can't please everybody. I can't please everybody. Yeah. And that's one of the songs that resonates with me the most is because um, you get into situations where you try to do the right thing. You try to be the best person for everybody else. When, you know, you're you're kind of feeling like you're not feeling right inside sometimes. So it's like, Kind of like the quote, uh, kind of like what my mentor, think of my video, yesterday's video, my mentor, you know, the, the discussion we had, what I talked about last video was, would you rather be at war with yourself, uh, at peace with everybody else, or would you rather be at peace with yourself and at war with everybody else? You know, it really doesn't matter. If you're good within yourself, and the people that will care about you, the people that are really with you, are going to be with you regardless. No matter what decision you make, if you're good with yourself, 
they're gonna be there. The people that aren't were never there for you. They were never there for you to begin with. So you know, people will always tell you. I've had like I've had moments in my life where I felt I didn't fit in, where I felt like I wasn't, like I felt like um I wasn't that. Thank you. Um, so I, I felt like there were moments where I did, felt like I didn't fit in in certain spaces. Um, I felt like I had to be this in order to be in this space, or I had to be this to be in this space. Like in school, there was, you know, there was this group here. And then there was, you had the, like you had the overachievers, the ones that always get straight A's, the ones that always stick together. I guess it was a, it was more of a class thing where they, they were getting good grades. They, they had A's, barely any B's. They were those students that were going off. And then you had the, the, um, I'm not going to say the stereotypical ones, but the ones that were more focused on on um having fun and, and and skipping school and and all of that you know so there was a space where and not even really skipping school but they were like it was like the cool folks i guess like that i knew all of them um and then you had the overachievers who i knew but I felt like I didn't fit in either space. I was, um, like it seemed like, like overachievers, they looked at me like I was, um, not as bright or like they were, they may have been better than me. And the other ones were, I was too, um, I was too into, I was more into academics than being like that because they wanted to talk about basketball and fighting and all that stuff. Like, y'all y'all know what I'm trying to say, but like all throughout school, I felt like I didn't really fit in too much, but I had spaces where I would say, you know, what's up to everybody? I knew everybody, but I just, I didn't feel like I fit in. So coming of age you try to figure out how to best maneuver so that you can be yourself and you know while at the same time you could be comfortable being with yourself and be comfortable around all different types of people you know and I guess that was one thing that it, it taught me is um be myself regardless of what other people think I guess and even after that, I still kind of had trouble with that. And of course, you know, when you're young, you're going to have trouble with that. You're going to try to figure out um, because being yourself sometimes is very difficult. You know, it's easy to fall into temptation to try to be like, try to be like uh, popular folks, try to be like what, what, what they want, be the stereotypical um, fit the stereotypical mode, um, you know, try to be that, or be this, you know, try to be, um, try to act like you fit in with those spaces, but after a while, you just, it gets tiring, it gets tiring, and you just, you don't feel like yourself, you end up, you end up, looking like somebody who just doesn't know them just doesn't know you or you you look fake 
you look like somebody who's trying to who's trying to uh fit in you know and i feel like at the end of the day the only way for you to get in those spaces with people is to be yourself and the people that actually want to be around you will be around you that's really the thing like i found a couple of groups in high school and then also in college where we felt the same way especially college that's the group i'm with now we've been we've been cool for um almost six years six to seven years actually some of them i knew when i first started college seven years ago and then some of them i knew a little bit after but we've been cool ever since and we all share a similar goal you know it's and we know we know how far we're trying to go and we want to just be true to ourselves we try to be true to ourselves. And I know some of them are watching this video too. Because <laughs> they're the main ones that was watching my videos. Y'all the main ones who are watching my, my videos right now. I know um, further down the line, there's going to be more. But right now, you guys are the main ones watching these videos. Um, and I, I do appreciate it. And I do appreciate the fact that we've stayed true to ourselves for the longest. It's it's tough to do, but you know, at some point you figure out all the stuff that you were worried about in the past is stupid. It's dumb. It's stuff that is only it's only a problem for a few years. After that it's not even like nobody even talks about it. It's not even an issue. And and one of the homies would always say to me, like when somebody was, when I felt a certain way about somebody or it felt like they felt a certain way about me, you'd always say, think, think back to yourself. Think back. Or, um, what was he saying? Think Think of it like this. These people that are, that you're worried about or these people that you're frustrated by, are they are you gonna be are you gonna be around them? Are you gonna know them five years from now? Are you gonna even are you gonna even have conversations with them five years from now? Are you gonna think about them five years from now? If not, then why are you worried about them? And that made a lot of sense to me. And I, I figured, like, I would be in a space where I know, I know I want to, people I know I want to, like, build something strong with, you know. And it's one of those things where you just got to, you got to realize who's there with you and who's not. Because at the end of the day, that's all you got. That's all you got. And even if you don't have that, you got you and the man of above. So, I feel like all you really need is a few friends. A few people that you care about. A few co close people. That's all you really need. Well... It was good. So, I'm getting ready to get some food right now. I'm staring at it right now. So, I'm going to head out, put this video up, I'm going to eat, I'm going to enjoy, enjoy it, and end the night. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow with my next video, and I'm out of here. Ah!